Welcome to Module 5, Searching with the Cochrane Library. This is one of a series of instructional videos created for evidence-based practice in healthcare. Evidence-based practice is supported by the librarians at the Kellogg Health Sciences Library. If you need assistance with your literature searching, you can contact the Kellogg Library at kellogg.library at dal.ca. Let's start by discussing what the Cochrane Library is and how to access it. The Cochrane Library is a source of the best evidence for healthcare interventions. Although it contains different types of articles, such as review protocols, randomized controlled trials, editorials, and more, the core of the Cochrane Library is its database of systematic reviews. These full-text Cochrane reviews synthesize the highest quality evidence, usually randomized controlled trials, and give you the clinical bottom line on whether a particular intervention is effective. If you find a Cochrane review on your question, it may mean you need look no further. All Cochrane reviews are regularly updated, and if they are not, they are withdrawn. For our search, let's start with the PICO question we showed you in the previous modules concerning adult females with chronic low back pain. As a reminder, the population is adult females with chronic low back pain. The intervention is tramadol with acetaminophen taken orally twice daily. The comparison is a placebo, and the outcome is a reduction in pain scale scores. To run a simple search in the Cochrane Library, we can enter our keywords in the search box and click the magnifying glass icon. Here I am searching low back pain and tramadol to start. I'm not using any Boolean operators between terms, and the Cochrane Library will interpret these as AND by default. Now I am clicking the magnifying glass icon and my results appear on the next screen where they are grouped by different article types. If a Cochrane review is found, that is displayed first, as is the case here. Since tramadol is in the opioid class of drugs, the second review looks like it might address our question. If there is no Cochrane review, the next choice would be to look at the Trials tab to see the list of randomized controlled trials that match this search. Worth noting is the Cochrane Library lists citations for over 700,000 randomized controlled trials, dating back to the late 1940s when modern trials began. This is more than you will find in any other source, including PubMed. Let's return to our initial results screen, which showed one Cochrane review that looks relevant to our search query. The tag below the listed authors that says review indicates that it is a completed review as opposed to a protocol which indicates a review in progress. To view the full text of this review, click on the title. On the next screen, we have the abstract of the article as well as a navigation sidebar on the right of the screen. The navigation sidebar allows you to jump to various sections of the article such as the results or author's conclusions. To see the exact search strategy that was used for a Cochrane review, click Appendices. You can also look at the other options in this menu, and each Cochrane review is structured in the same way. This module concludes our five-part series on evidence-based practice. If you would like to learn more about searching in support of evidence-based practice, you can check out our other videos in the description below. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.